Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Walsh. Just in time for Valentine's Day and the big game, an historic milestone in the COVID-19 fight here in Rhode Island. The state is no longer mandating that you wear masks when entering local businesses, but proprietors can still ask that you take precautions. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live as the change goes into effect. Anita. Well, Kate, I'm here on Main Street in South Kingstown. This is a quaint little area with small businesses lining both sides of the streets. And since I've been here, I can see patrons with and without masks going in and out of these small businesses now that the statewide mandate has dropped. Now, as you said, this is something that the businesses can decide. The businesses coalitions have asked Governor Dan McKee ahead of the very busy Valentine's Day weekend in an effort to boost reservations in business. The governor's office says businesses can decide this policy, whether to ditch them or to have patrons keep them and while some business advocates are looking forward to getting rid of the max max mask or vax policy a business in providence telling 12 news they aren't changing theirs as of right now we felt that we were at the point where people really had reached their breaking point where people really wanted that consumer confidence that uplift to be able to move on we all watched with the rest of the world today as sean white uh, fell down uh, just before the finish line and we don't intend to do that. So we're keeping everything in place that we have been doing all along to keep both our customers and our staff safe when they are here in the restaurant. Now, masks dropping in businesses and most indoor spaces comes about a month before schools will drop their mask mandate for students and teachers on March 4th. The governor making this decision, citing a decline in COVID cases in Rhode Island. For now, live in South Kingstown, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Thanks, Anita. We're also working breaking news on the largest school district in Rhode Island choosing to continue to require masks. So Providence Public Schools, currently controlled by the state of Rhode Island, said today in a news release, students and staff will still need to wear masks even after the statewide school mask mandate lifts on March 4th. Providence will also have a staggered return to in-person learning after February vacation. Just 34% of the Providence School District's students are vaccinated against COVID-19. 1203, we're getting